My name is Wahoo. And this is my corner, Wahoo's corner, to be exact. This is a very intense intro, I don't know why I'm doing it like this. I am a big book bitch, okay? I enjoy giant books, massive books that have a lot of story, you know, I can be in that world for a long period, a lot of time. I enjoy that. And short books, I don't respect. And, and that being said, it's like, why do I buy them then? Why do I buy them? Because I am delusional and I think, oh, I just need a little something light in between big books. You, I don't want something light. I want to move on. That's what I want. I don't know why I keep lying to myself and getting these short books because I'm like, well, at a, at a, at a point I'm gonna want to read something short and light. No, you won't. This week I'm facing my issues head on. I'm reading all the short books on my TBR. And, and good lord, there's only four. Thank God for that. <laughs> I've only, I've only lied to myself four times, okay? So the first book, let's just get into what I'm going to be reading. The first book here is A Clockwork Orange by Anthony Burris. Burgess! <laughs> Anthony Burris, is that a person? I, a Hannibal Burris is a person, comedian. Hilarious, you should check him out if you haven't, if you don't know who it is. Okay, let me just read you the excerpt on this thing. In this nightmare vision of youth in revolt, 15-year-old Alex and his friends set out on a diabolical orgy of robbery, Sexual assault, torture, and murder. Alex is jailed for his teenage delinquency and the state tries to reform him. But at what cost? Social prophecy, black comedy, a study of free will, a clockwork orange is all of these. It is also a dazzling experiment in language as Burgess creates Nat's sat, the teenage slang of a not too distant future. I've literally never heard anyone say the word Nat sat. When was this published? 1972? But then will teenagers, what, what, Nat but yeah, um, I don't even know why I picked this book up. This one I am a little bit more excited about because it is the Gutsu Murakami. And if you've been here for a second, you know that I like Murakami. But I'm scared because I know men. And I know men's relationship with sapphic relationships. Do you know what I mean? Like I know they just sexualize them. And I'm like a little scared because this is a sapphic romance. Let me read to you. Sumir is in love with a woman 17 years her senior, but whereas Mu is glamorous and successful, Sumir is an expiring writer who dresses in an oversized secondhand coat and heavy boots like a character in a Kerouac novel. Sumir spends hours on the phone talking to her best friend Kay about the big questions in life. What is sexual desire? And should she ever tell Mu how she feels about her? Meanwhile, Kay wonders whether he should confess his own unrequited love for Sumir. Then, a desperate Mew calls from a small Greek island. Sumir has mysteriously vanished. Oh, actually, I actually forgot what... Okay, I'm a little more excited because I totally forgot what the, um, the blurb was because I saw Murakami and I was like, snitch! Um, this one, oh, I should probably tell you how long these are. This one is 230 pages. This one is, it's a pocket novel too. It's like, oh, I, it's 140 pages. And the next one is a little more popular. It's a little more mainstream. It's Normal People by Sally Rooney. And I have been bombarded by people talking about this book, talking about this author. And I'm like, I don't want to read about two people just being assholes to each other and like being in love, but being toxic and stuff and I'm like especially two white people I'm like ah, it's kind of overdone don't you think but um yeah this week I'm gonna be I'm gonna be settling in how long is this baby this baby is 266 pages and reading this I don't even know how where I'm gonna start and our last fourth and last one why are all why is all this dirty is a play am I cheating no because I made up this game, okay? I can't cheat if I make the rules. I can just change the rules if I want to. And I am changing it by including a play, okay? <sighs> Death and the King's Horseman is a classic tales. Oh, oh, sorry. A classic tale of tragic decisions in a traditional African culture. Me being African, I was like. Oh. Samuel! 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 
Based on the events that took place in Oyo, an ancient Yoruba city in Nigeria in 1964, Wule Soyinka's powerful play concerns the intertwined lives of Ellison Oba, the king's chief horseman, his son Olunde, now studying medicine in England, and Simon Pilkings, the colonial district officer. The king has died and Ellison is expected by law and custom to commit suicide and accompany his ruler to heaven. The stage is set for a dramatic climax when Pilkings learns of the ritual and decides to intervene and Ellison's son arrives home. At one point I'm like, mind your white business, but on the other side I'm like, if I was Ellison, I'd be like, please be a colonizer for two minutes <laughs> and, then, and, you know, intervene, help me, help me, help me. But um, this one sounds the most interesting to me out of all of these. This is one I'm looking forward to and I think I might start reading it tonight because I finished The Gathering of Shadows a few days ago and I haven't been writing anything because our little book club is stunted and we're actually supposed to have a meeting tonight. If you don't know, I have a book club with my friends and we're currently reading Circe and um, yeah, so I can't just like barrel through the book and read it whenever I want. <laughs> Man, I look busted. <laughs> it's 1 a.m. and I just finished reading Death and the King's Horseman. It's good. It was good, I guess. Um, I think I highlighted some. I guess underlined. Um. Oh, this was like, this was like some really good imagery. Um, it said, The bow was beaten bronze, the meat so succulent, our teeth accused us of neglect. Like, imagine meat that's cooked so soft that you don't have to use your teeth. That's crazy. And one of the last lines. Oh my god. I feel like I've lived 30 years just from eating this. <laughs> Like, it was a whole thing. Mm, from start to finish. <laughs> okay. This lady says, No child, it is what you brought to be. You who play with strangers' lives, who even usurp the vestments of our dead, yet believe that the stain of death will not cling to you. The gods demanded only the old expired plantain, but you cut down the sapling and shoot to feed your pride. <laughs> This was definitely, I'm definitely going to force people to read this. Um, read this. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. I'm going to go to bed. One down, three go. But I imagine the other three are not going to be as easily persuaded to be finished. Sheesh. Sheesh. Y'all rocking with the fit? I got a pizza. All right, so I'm I'm gonna go to my local cafe that I like going to, and I'm gonna start off with um, Spot Next Sweetheart. Maybe I can get halfway through. Ooh, maybe halfway through, halfway mark for the day. Um, it is currently okay. So I cheated a little bit. I started reading on Sunday night. So it's Monday afternoon now, and I'm getting started on my second book. But I made the rules, okay? So be quiet, be quiet. Look how, how could you be mad at me when I look this good? <laughs> Should be illegal to look this good. Well, let me see. Oh my god. Yeah.
how I escaped the burning. Alrighty. Alrighty, gang. You can't see me. Mm. Alrighty, gang. I just got home. It is some time later. And I managed to make it about a little less than halfway through. Uh, Sputnik Sweetheart. And it's going about as I expected. I like it. And it's it's Murakami. You know, he has a very specific um, author's voice. Like, um, he likes to talk a lot about pianists. Men who are sleeping with women who are either married or in long-term relationships. Um, what else? What else? I'm forgetting it. But, like, it's not a Murakami novel if it doesn't have somebody who used to be a pianist and they no longer play. <laughs> doesn't have a man who isn't sleeping with a married woman. Or, um, what is that? Oh, okay. Or somebody who has a long-term boot thing. But, yeah, um, also a little side fact, little little uh, tidbit of information I would like to give to you guys as the public if you see someone out in public with headphones on reading a book, that does not mean, talk to me, talk to me, please. I'm begging somebody to sit down and start a conversation with me. There was a man. Of course it was a man. But there was a man. And I was sitting there. I was like, I was like 50 pages in. I was like, mm, it's getting good. And he's, uh, he, sits, he sits down, and he's like, is, is it okay if I sit here? Because I'm sitting in these armchairs that were, like, facing each other. And I'm like, yeah, no, it's fine. And I go back to put my headphone in, and he's like, what are you reading? <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. Please, don't do that. But, yeah, I'm going to edit a video. Maybe drink a brewski. Um, yeah. Bye. Okay, so it's Tuesday night. It's 1 a.m. I don't know why I always do these um, little check-ins at this late hour, but I read until uh, a little, not a little over half, way over half, and I've got a small chunk um, left. Hold on, let me do this. Eee. Hopefully you can see me better, but I have a small chunk left. But I wanted to save it for tomorrow, and also because the book is kind of scaring me, it's giving me heebie-jeebies. I forget that Murakami has a way of getting into my head, and I was like, Ooh, I'm, I'm scarred. But, um, it's good. I like it. But, um, I'm still like, I'm still like, Killing Commendatory is better. But maybe I, because I had a little bit more time with Killing Commendatory, because they were like, you know, it's a longer book, so... But I don't know. I think it's my favorite Murakami novel. Not Sputnik Sweetheart, but Killing Commendatory. But I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm clocking out. Oh, I also got a space heater. I don't know if you can see it. Because my room is freezing cold. <sighs> Whatever. Bye. Literally two seconds ago, I just finished Sputnik Sweetheart. Um, I knew I wasn't gonna get a straight answer. Like, I knew... I knew it was just gonna be like, what really happened that night? <laughs> and I'm working on being okay with not knowing things. I know that sounds weird, but like, we gotta be more okay with not having the whole story or, you know, kind of having to think for ourselves a little bit here. But uh, I did enjoy it. It was a good read. It was a good Murakami book, like always. But again, killing commendatory. Um, I think next I'm gonna start on normal people because I just I'm I'm just trying to put off a Clockwork Orange for as long as possible. I don't know why, but that book is just like repelling me. Like it doesn't want to be read by me, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs>
Hello, gang, gang. Um, some disappointing news. It's not going to happen. It's not going to work. I can feel this book putting me into a reading slump. Like, I don't even want to, like, I don't even want to read anymore. So, I've decided, I've made the executive decision after 61 pages can you see that? 61? Yeah. After 61 pages that we will not be continuing this partnership with Anthony Burgess. Um, it's my first DNF of the year, I think. No, wait. Mm, yeah, it's my first DNF. And I'm just moving forward. Um, you know, gotta keep it moving. Like I said, it's 1.30 a.m. So... I'm going to start on normal people tomorrow morning. But right now I'm going to do a word search and go to bed. Because, yeah, this book is just... (sighs) Like, the reason I don't like it is because of the language. Like, I read classics all the time. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a smart one. I'm a smart bitch. So, like, I... Like, I understand old timey English do you know what I mean and this is not even old timey this is like he's, he's making a new language basically and it's so hard to understand like he's just basically making up words let me try to find for you a sentence that's clean up to that's that's clean up to dim I said dim can't go on all his G's need being as a little child and I look sharp at Georgie dim said and the red cravi was easing its flow now. Word natural right does he have to think he can give orders and tall chalk me whenever he likes. Yarbles is what I say to him, and I chain his glasses out as soon as look. Tell me what I just read. Tell me what I just read. What did I just read? What does that mean? What does any of that mean? It means nothing, okay? Like, I was, I was starting to get used to the words, and then the scene shifted, and he started using new words and I was like I can't keep doing this maybe I, I can't keep I can't keep doing this with you I'm sorry so you know I'm starting normal people tomorrow and it better be good it better be good okay so it's 2 a.m. on Thursday night well I guess now it's Friday but um I just got done reading a huge chunk of Normal People by Sally Rooney, and I'm glad I picked this up immediately because I feel like if I'd hesitated, I would still be in a reading slump, and I would not want to read, um, but I like the book, it's, yeah, that's, that's, hmm, how can I put this into words, um, a book being easy to get through is not a bad thing do you know what i mean like some people like to use it as an insult to authors that oh this book was easy to get through writing that's easy to get through is hard to do so um miss rooney i'm turning into a fan of yours um i don't know it's just so effortless and i just found myself um i don't know how to say this I'll find I'll find a way to say this, but yeah, I'm gonna do some writing and head to bed soon. Um, it is Friday morning, 11 a.m. I just finished Normal People, and I actually really enjoyed it. I found it um easy to. You know, I found it easy to continue reading. I'm glad I decided to DNF. Clockwork Orange, like, maybe I'm too young for it, maybe it's a bad book, maybe it's just bad writing, but, um, I just finished doing my own form of writing, and no, you cannot decipher my handwriting, okay, I know I have bad handwriting, get a life, okay, but, um, moving on, moving forward, these are my reading prospects before Sunday hits, and, uh, my, my, my thing is, this video is due, but, uh, I'm gonna read... I plan to at least. Um, the Day of the Locust by Nathaniel West. 
because I feel a little bit bad about DNFing um, Clockwork Orange. Not because, like, I feel bad for him, but just because, like, I kind of wanted to read more. And this whole challenge is actually teaching me that I can actually read a bit more than I have been. Um, I feel like uh, I just call it quits at 50 pages, and I'm like, mm, I'm okay now. But really, I can I can read a bit more. I can start to read 100 pages a sitting, you know. But yeah. Oh, I'm also planning on reading Lady Windmere's fan. This play by Oscar Wilde, which I got literally 100 years ago. Like my friend got it for my 17th birthday, and I only like read half of it. So I'm gonna start from the beginning, read it again. Because if you don't know this, Oscar Wilde's my favorite author of all time. Like, I actually need to get another copy of The Picture of Dorian Gray because, like, that book, he ate, it, it gave what it, what we said it was going to give. You know what I mean? Like, oh, oh, I can turn the brightness up on this? I'm Kari. Anyways, yeah. That's just how I feel right now, I'm Kari. So, um, We've come to the end of this video. Um, so, I think I achieved my goal, but um, let's review what the books we write, okay? What were the books? The Day of the Locust by Nathaniel West, Normal People by Sally Rooney, Sputnik's Sweetheart by Murakami, Death and the King's Horseman by Sonin Wal Soyinka. Okay, so. I think I'm very proud of myself. I managed to read four books in one week, which um, is something I didn't think was possible. But like, yes, they're all wow, well, they're all small blocks. Okay, how many books did you read this week? Hmm, that's what I thought. Okay, so yes, they're small, but yes, they're still books. They're fully um, contained stories. So I don't know why you're, um, why am I like creating imaginary arguments and then like rebutting? But um, I guess what I learned this week is that I can read more than I think I can. Like especially like during a day because I think I read um, this one in about a day. In like one day 200 something pages. But usually I max myself out at like 100 pages or 120 something pages a day. And, like, I could definitely read more, but, um, I don't know, I feel like, I feel like it's pushing it. It's pushing the, the enjoyment, you know, it's like, it's like taking it down a little bit, like, um, I enjoyed them a little less, I think maybe, and it could also just be because they're short books, and I, like I said earlier, I don't respect short books, but, um, low-key, I think they're pretty okay, because, yeah, books that are, like, shorter than 400 pages, I'm like, what could you possibly have to say to me? But um, these these four books were all pretty. <clears throat> they were all pretty. Like they were good books. I have good taste. Let me just say, um, especially Sputnik Sweetheart. I think was my favorite until um, I read Normal People. I think, but Sputnik Sweetheart is the one that really stuck with me. It's the one that I've still been thinking about um, ever since I finished it. Cause like I just be going through my day and then I just like remember a scene and I'm just. Like, mm, 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 that's some good rotten. But, um, it's also Murakami, so it's like, girl, maybe, you know? But, um, <clears throat> I feel like normal people really lived up to the hype. Like, it was exactly, it gave what y'all said it was supposed to give. That's what I'm trying to get at here. And I'm kind of like a fan of Sally Rooney as a person now. Because, like, oh, it's just, like, Irish, you know? That's not an Irish accent. I won't even try to do an Irish accent because it's very insulting. But there was some portions in this book that I was like, whoa, whoa. And it kind of makes me want to watch the show. Because I remember I saw the show on Hulu about two years ago or something. And I was like, oh, I don't want to watch another show about two white people. You know what I mean? Because, like... I feel like the market is oversaturated with shows about two white people having relationship problems. But, um... <clears throat> Sorry I keep clearing my throat so much. I had a cold recently. Ugh. Anyways. Which is, like... You know, like, it's oversaturated. I'm like, another show about two white people having relationship problems? Like, 
Ooh, okay, um, I guess, but now I'm, I'm, I'm kind of giving it a second thought because, like, the way that the book was told, it was just so very realistic and it was all believable, you know? Sometimes, I feel like sometimes, um, <clears throat> authors do these things where they turn people into characters, do you know what I mean? And characters are sort of two-dimensional and, you know, they just kind of have their one thing, kind of in, like, but Murakami isn't a good example of that. I feel like this this one is a good example of that. The main character who is like, I don't know, he's just like a weird man. I don't know. I feel like if I met this man, I wouldn't like him. Not because he's like a bad person, but like, we just wouldn't mesh. Do you know what I mean? But, um, I really, this one really resonated with me. And I did tab it quite a bit. Um, let's see what, okay. I like reading plays. Wahoo, you like reading plays. Read more plays, girl. Stop playing. Stop. Because, like, you you know, you just sit down, read a play, and it's like, wow. Get to walk away with the story. I think the last play that I read was... I can't say The Crucible. I think, no, because that was a script. Well, I guess it was a play. Yeah, okay, I guess, like, the last play I read was The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde, which... He's my favorite, like, he's really my favorite author. I think he's funny, he's like a great writer. R.I.P. Oscar Wilde, you would have loved Grinder. Um... Oh, oh, there was this really good quote about, like, colonial- colonizers? More so colonizers than colonialism. Um, this- this character said, You forget that I have spent four years among your people. I discovered that you have no respect for which you do not understand. I was like, mm -hmm. Shots fired! Shots fired! But if you have the opportunity, I really recommend you check out this play. It's really good. Um, it really had me thinking. I was like... <clears throat> the white man. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But, but like, yeah, like, the white man! <laughs> but yeah, it was also like a comment on white feminism and... Just like really important stuff and tradition and like a lot of things. It was really good, really good. But um, I think that's all I have to say for today. This ending clip has gone on for long enough. But um, I, oh, let's say one thing I learned that is kind of negative. It's like I don't like being forced or I don't like planning ahead what I'm going to read. Do you know what I mean? Like I just like looking at a book and being like, oh, this one. But yeah, life, I feel like that tampered my enjoyment of these books because I was like, okay, and then you gotta read this one next. You gotta read this one. I was like, even though it's a good book, I'm like, I have issues with authority, even if I'm that authority. <laughs> so I was a bit like, mm, I resisted a little bit. I resisted. But they were good books. Wahoo, like, stop, stop, stop. And just read the book. Like, girl. Anyways, I'm really proud of myself. Four books. Let's. Yeah. Four whole books. Yeah. Uh, but that's all. Sorry for that. Sorry. That's all for this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Maybe you you um, pushed yourself a little harder in your reading this week. I don't know. But I, I highly recommend you try it at least for like a week to to read more than you think you 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 can basically. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I have been Wahoo of Wahoo's Corner. If you like this video, like this video. If you want to comment below, maybe, what you've been reading, what you've been doing, what you've been watching. Or if I should watch normal people, like, is it, is it true to the, to the, to the scripture? You know what I mean? Is it true to the scripture? Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. As the French say, I'm finishing.